Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Michael Cation. Welcome to Wildcat Chat. Now, if you've never seen the show before, this is basically what's going to happen. We're going to fill you in on all of Baker Athletics this semester. We're going to fill you in on sports from softball to baseball to tennis. Today, we're going to talk to you about a couple of Baker Athletics. We're going to talk to you about baseball. We'll get to that in a little bit. And uh, the baseball team, they've been showing a little bit of improvement in the past couple of years. And we'll see what their team's going to be like this year and, and uh, how they look. Head coach of the Baker men's baseball team is going to fill us in on that. Phil Hannon will join us. But that'll be a little bit later in the show. First, we're going to talk men's basketball. Now, the Baker men's basketball team, they're struggling a little bit as of late. They're 14 and 14 overall, 6 and 12. They started the season at 13 and 6, but they're struggling a little bit. They've lost six of their last games. So we're going to go ahead and talk to head coach of the men's basketball team, head coach Rick Weaver. Now Rick Weaver will be joining Alex Stingman, and they'll discuss what the basketball team season looks like so far and what's to come. Alex? All right, I'm now with Coach Rick Weaver of the men's basketball team here at Baker University. And uh, we're going to kind of talk about the season a little bit. And, you know, the team's been on a little bit of a slide as of late, uh, you know, but six wins on the season in the conference. And, uh, you know, we're still looking all right there uh, in the eighth seed. You know, we're going to have to battle out to get it. But kind of just tell me of the overall of the season. We're so hanging far. on by a thread. We've, yeah. got, uh, we've lost the last five or six in a row. Two or three could have went either way. And right now there's about three of us battling for a playoff spot, us and Avalon, uh, Culver Stockton. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall, we're 14 and 14. Uh, got off to a fast start this year. I think uh, we played a tough schedule. I think the conference is probably as good as it's been since I've been here. Uh, Mid America is uh, by far better than everybody else, but there's not a real weak team in the league. And uh, we've gotten beat by a couple bottom feeders at home, Avila and Graceland, which have hurt us. But we've also won a couple road games on the on the road. We went over and uh, got a big win over at Central Methodist. Uh, we've got a big week coming up with a game at Mo Valley Thursday. And then the season ends officially uh, Saturday when we play Evangel. I think uh, if we can take care of business, get those two, we'll probably get in the playoffs and see what happens. What do you think has uh, been the biggest issue with the team as far as uh, the season? Well, I don't know. We're pretty deep. We really haven't got a star. You know, we've got about 10 or 12 guys who play quite a bit. Uh, we've got some pretty good seniors who have done a nice job. We really haven't got that future NBA prospect or no one's coming out early for the draft. No LeBron's out there. If we had one of those, we'd probably be pretty decent. Yeah. But uh, our, probably our strength is we're pretty deep. We've got four or five guards that can play and four or five inside guys that can play. And we uh, try to get up and down the court. Our guys are, uh, they work hard, they get after it. We might not be the most talented group, but we, we compete most of the time. Uh, we're a little erratic sometimes when we're making threes, we're dangerous. Uh, Greg Allen and DJ Watkins, uh, a couple guys never met a shot they don't like. Uh, like to shoot it only when they have the ball type guys. Yeah. and. Uh, when they're on, we're, we're decent offensively. If not, we've got to punch it inside, and sometimes we struggle a little bit. But uh, I would say our strength, we're probably uh, pretty deep. Probably our weaknesses, we haven't got that one real uh, super stud go-to guy that we can throw the ball to and get two points anytime we want. Yeah. Well, talking about that game coming up on Thursday, Missouri Valley, they're 9-9 uh, nine and nine so far this season in the conference. And, uh, you know, you're talking about the shooters, but... Uh, what's going to be kind of a key for that game? Because it's, you know, well, every win now is important. Yeah, it's, it's a real big game. We beat them over here. It was a strange game. We uh, got behind 14-5, to 5, and then we came out and got ahead 16-14, to 14, and then it went back and forth down to the last minute. Uh, for us, we're going to have to try to keep up with their running game. They're real fast. We're not the quickest group of young men in the United States. We've got decent quickness, but they've got uh, some pretty good athletes. Uh, it seems like every time we play somebody, the other team finds some guy to have a career night. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had a guy against us had like six threes for the year, and against us he had five. Uh, there are now we played Benedictine. We had a kid that averaged nine points. We held him to 40. Mm -hmm. So we've got to kind of try to keep their normal guys uh, hopefully in, in line. Uh, I think the real keys for us is uh, we're going to have to execute our offense make some shots. If we can do that over there, it's going to be kind of a tough environment because they'll be looking for a little revenge. And it's their senior night, and they've got to get it to try to get a, a top division spot in the playoffs. It's going to be a good competitive ball game, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely that's going to be an important game. You're going to have to pull right. that one off. And also, going the rest of the way, every game is going to be important. What is it going to take to get into the tournament? You know, do you well, think you have a good shot? bribes, <laughs> dishonesty, cheat. I don't know. We're going to, we probably got to beat Valley and got to beat Evangel Saturday. We play Evangel our last home game of the year at Senior Day, and uh, they're tough. They were picked to win the league. Uh, they had won nine in a row, and they finally got beat uh, their night by Mo Valley. Mm -hmm. But they're a, a dangerous team. They've, they're the only team to beat Mid-America this year. And uh, they've got a good All-American named Dial, big inside, strong guy. He's yeah. about two Mark Roberts wide, mm -hmm. so level trouble. 
guarding him. But uh, with them, uh, we're going to have to shoot the ball well again. They're a very physical, strong team. Where we're kind of weak once in a while are we've got some taller guys. You know, Roberts and Peter are both 6'7", but they both weigh about a buckle five. And uh, sometimes they get backed in with strong physical teams. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to handle their, their physical play inside. But they're a good ball club. We'll have to play well. Yeah, and, and talking about, you know, going in the rest of the season, pulling off the victories, and say we get in the tournament, which, you know, we have a very good chance, but most likely will be an eighth seed. But do you think that the Baker team has a good chance at, you know, making a little run in the tournament? Well, the eighth seed gets a good fortune to play in Mid-America, yeah. which I'm not sure that's a, the greatest thing you want to do. But uh, when we played them here, we were 20-20 to 20 after 10 minutes, and mm -hmm. I guess I started coaching or something, we got our butt kicked. But uh, they're pretty good. I think they're probably as good a team the league's had in the last three or four years. Uh, They've got their whole team back from last year, and they went to the Final Four last year, and they added a 6'9 kid who can play. So if we play them, we'll have to get after them. You know, when we went over there, we had a real good game with them. Halftime is a five-point game, so uh, hopefully we get a chance to play them. But at this point, we're just trying to go by Valley, then get by Evangel, and mm -hmm. if we make the playoffs, kind of see who we draw. Probably it'd be Mid-America if we get lucky to get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to me a little bit about the teams overall. You know, the, the teams in the hack last year did a, a tremendous job in the postseason, you know, nationally even. Uh, what do you think the, of the teams this year? Well, the, the men's side last year, I thought there was about six really good teams, four outstanding teams. I think this year there's about one outstanding team, two or three pretty good ones, and the rest are pretty decent. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year we had four teams make the tournament. Uh, two went the Final Four. The, the two that got beat were William Jewell and Evangel, and they got beat in close games. The other two teams that were in the Final Four, the one national champion, Ozarks, beat Jewell by one. Uh, but there's this year I think it's kind of mid-America's way above everybody, then the Evangel's dangerous, and then Benedictine's kind of semi-dangerous, and the rest of us are all kind of competitive. I think on a, on a given night, you know, any of us down the, the last seven or eight teams, we can come up and beat somebody, but it's going to take one of those nights where, you know, things are going well. But mm -hmm. uh, the league, I think, from top to bottom is as strong as it's been. I've been here 22 years. I think back when you were about a gleam in somebody's eye, I think, back then, 22 years ago. Uh, that's that's how long I've been here. In the 22 years I've been here, uh, I'm not so sure that the league has been any better than this from top to bottom. Uh, the rumor on uh, Mid-America is that they could compete in the MIAA. That's a pretty good Division Two conference. So they've got a good win over a team called Arkansas Tech, mm -hmm. a Division II, uh team. They got beat at Park, a team that beat UMKC. Uh, but they're, they're a nice team. They've got about six guys. They've got everything, uh, you know, that you need. You know, point guard, inside kid shooters. Uh, I think the real key with them is maybe kidnap their point guard. Mm -hmm. If you kidnap their point guard, take them out in a van out in the country, drive them around until the game's over, then you've got a shot at beating them. But as long as he's around, they're going to be tough to beat. Well, that might be what you have to do. Well, for a price. <laughs> Get those cap of cigs and say yips. Get them involved in the basketball program. That'd be, we'd like be to help idea. out. You know? yeah. We'd like to do more for the community yeah. so yeah. it's possible. All right, now looking real far ahead, there's still a lot of ball to be played. But, uh, you know, looking into the future, there's some seniors, you know, we're going to be missing here. Greg Allen, DJ Walkins, some shooters. Nate Pedro down low. Uh, Mark Roberts, you know, who's just a, a guy that really plays hard right. and does a lot for you as a team. But looking in the future, what does the outlook look for? Uh, next well, we're going to have to find some bodies. You know, our, our main need, we've got some good perimeter guys back that played a lot. We've got uh, Andy Hannon, and Dane Dillingham back. Mm -hmm. Ryan Highfield didn't play much, but he's a capable perimeter guy. And we've got our point guard, Taylor Parker, back. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a couple of big boys back inside. Uh, Aaron Torrance had a decent year. Ross Thompson, he's still kind of slowed recovering that knee thing. I don't think he's really played as much as we would have liked to have played this year. And he's mm -hmm. got some work to do. We've got Matt Mills. He's back. So we've got about six or seven back. Our our needs, we've got to find a couple big guys inside. Uh, we're going to need to find another point guard because we're losing Evan Wright. And I'd like to find one shooter, you know, about a 6'3 or 6'4 shooter. You mm -hmm. know, and I think it's not so much the the number we bring in. We've got to have quality. We've got to have some guys who can step and play. We've got a lot of mileage out of uh, Pedro and Roberts. Uh, they play hard every night. They compete. And they're both playing 25, 30 minutes. So we've got some people who have got to step in there. And then uh, our point guard spot, you know, Taylor Parker plays a lot, but we need one more guy to handle the ball because he can't play 40 minutes. And I'd like to find kind of a uh, Greg Allen who can maybe guard a little bit better next year too. Uh, maybe like a Reggie Miller type of guy. That'd be nice. Yeah, one of those kind of guys. We can find uh, three or four that can, you know, step in and play. I think we'll be okay next year. The cover's not bare, but we've got to find some people. Well, good luck to you with recruiting in the rest of the season. And, you know, we all appreciate here at KMBU TV for you coming down here and giving us some of your time. So uh, we appreciate it. And now, I've been told there's a check. I'm supposed to pick up a check. Uh, we'll mail it to you. Okay, checks like campus mail. Probably sometimes that campus mail is a little slow. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right. You got my number. <laughs> Whatever works. All right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> all right, Coach.